Good. Um, so thank you very much, dear devotees, for joining us. Uh, this uh, today is uh, Christmas Eve, uh, day before Christmas Day, and I wanted to uh, thank you for coming on uh, on the line today. Um, we wanted to talk something a little bit different today. So one of your blessings and your good wishes so that we can share uh, some um, wonderful tips, I suppose, keys for advancing in spiritual uh, life. So these are 10 keys, which um, Jenti is going to take us through. Yeah. Hi, Krishna, everyone. So I mean, we've had a lot of philosophy, so we thought let's do something a bit more uh, different. So, okay, so as I said, these are the 10 keys uh, to help us in our devotional practice every day. Um, they're like 10 rules uh, that we, we should uh, try and follow every day. Um, so even advanced devotees follow the rules, uh, but they don't see them as rules. It becomes as part of their normal day-to-day -day, uh, life. Uh, for example, you know, you have to uh, push young children to study, you know, like when they're young, like four or five, you know, try to sit down and do their uh, arithmetic and whatever, you know, things like that. But as they grow older, you know, you don't have to push them as much because they have that taste for studying and, and they, you know, they can go on to become engineers, doctors, etc. So similarly, you know, uh, in the beginning, uh, you know, we have to uh, push ourselves to follow these rules. Uh, but as we uh, grow in our Christian consciousness, uh, uh, we just take it as I said, part of our uh, daily routine. Um, but even if you can't follow all the 10 rules, uh, there's two things that you must always, always do is one, one do is to remember Krishna and the don't is never forget Krishna. So just just doing these two things uh, is is uh, still a long you know, takes you a long way, and these rules are there to please Krishna and to absorb our, our mind in bhakti. So if bhakti comes down, means you know we're not um, uh, enjoying our bhakti, uh, and we that's because we're not following the rules, uh, or we're following the rules but forgetting Krishna at, at you know when by following these rules. So it, it's just said we should follow these rules every day. And some people have a sadhana chart, you know, things that they, they try and achieve every day. And initially you should start off with a few items on it so that you, could, you manage to do those properly and then add more things to your sadhana chart. You know, things like, you know, chanting at a certain time, you know, uh, doing, um, your puja, tulsi, aati, there's those of things, you know, those are part of your sadhana, right? Re, you know, reading certain number of uh, chapters or verses, things like that. Okay, so the first uh, rule is one should wake up early. So it is said that waking up two hours before sunrise is the ideal scenario, uh, which is called Brahma Murta. And if you don't get up at, um, in, the, uh, in Brahma Murta, then it shows that we're not serious in our Christian consciousness. If we get up early, it means that we won half the battle. Uh, we try to, you know, we've tried to control our mind and in, in getting up early, because the mind is will, you know, tell you uh, that you know, no, it's it's not, it's it's okay, you know, don't get up early today, you know, have a lie in. Uh, but you know, if you do that. Uh, every day that means you run half the battle you're trying to control your mind so um, this period um brahma murta is also known as vishuddha sattva bhava and it is especially meant for spirituality and Prabhupada has also said that if one reads for an hour in this period it is like reading for five hours during the day because one can retain more during this period um also acharyas have said and also, I think Ayurved also has confirmed this. That one should really sleep. Oh, it's gone. Sleep by 10 p.m. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. So the time between 9 p.m. and 12 a.m. to midnight 
um, the time that you sleep is actually the number of hours is doubled than between 12 and 3 a.m. The time is single time. Between three and six, the time is halved. So, you know, if, if you're sleeping by 10 o'clock and getting about three, so basically you've got four hours before midnight and then three ten hours after hours. that. 10, 10 to six is two hours before midnight. Not 10 till six, 10 till 12. Uh, oh, okay. It's double. It's four, four, yeah. Four and then three hours more. So you basically slept for seven. Your body is really uh, had sleep for seven hours. Even Ayurved confirms that this this is a uh, how your body works as well. <clears throat> and the uh, periods are between three and six a.m. As I said, is Vishuddha Sattva. Six a.m. is usually sunrise. Okay, and then six to ten is Sattva Gun actually. And then at 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. is Rajagun, because, you know, usually rushing around doing, trying to do things. And then 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. in the morning is Tamagun. <clears throat> so in terms of our, because in the UK now, for example, sunrise is at about 8. Yeah. But, you know, you, you, you should, like Prabhupada, you, he would do, it doesn't matter which time zone he would be, he was in, he still had his set you know, uh, routine that, you know, uh, six o'clock, uh, you know, so three o'clock he'd get up and things like that, you know, and he's go, going for his walk and have his bath. It'll be the same time every day. It doesn't matter what time zone you're in. So similarly, you know, it, it in the UK and America, you know, I, the sunrise and sunsets are uh, vary depending on the time of the year, but we should still have a routine, a set time of getting up early or sleeping and doing uh, a chanting, that sort of thing. So, sir, people, of course, this will be new to many. And um, 3 a.m. Uh, is good for those who are perhaps brahmachari um, or, or in living in the, the temple. Uh, you're living in the temple. I think uh, for practical purposes, we, depending on one's uh, upbringing, because if somebody's always been brought up to wake up at seven o'clock, then it's to shift it to three is impossible. I would say, uh, to be consistently doing it at three. But what one can do is try to gradually, gradually um, rise earlier and aim perhaps not for three o'clock because that's just not going to happen. Uh, myself, for example, we, uh, yeah, we, no, four o'clock mm -hmm. is when um, the alarm goes off. Usually <laughs> we don't need the alarm, we just naturally wake up. Um, that's a good aim. Four o'clock is a good aim. But if somebody is at the level of seven o'clock, then again, four o'clock is going to be impossible. So one would try to rise earlier on a perhaps, you know, weekly or monthly basis, five minutes earlier, five minutes earlier, five minutes earlier, and maybe aim for five o'clock to be your, to be a good aim. And five o'clock is not bad. Mm. Uh, five o'clock is still... Uh, before the sun rises, which is important. Um, if one is sleeping when the sun is rising, that, that is uh, tamo, that is Yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah, there's several, several other things, you know, like chanting, which is the next thing, mm -hmm. uh, which we'll mm -hmm. come to again, you know, if, if you're sleeping in that time, you're not, not using that time to chant, and you're sending the wrong message to Krishna as well, you know, uh, that, you know, I can't, can't really be bothered, uh, you know, to get up in these um uh in this brahma murta and again then you know krishna reciprocate accordingly as well so yeah it's 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 a good practice to do that and also um when we i think when we come to chanting as well it's said that if you chant by seven your 16 rounds by seven o'clock if possible then um that is ideal okay so <laughs> questions Pitamba, <laughs> nice question what if you do your chanting at 3 a.m., then got to bed at 8 a.m. for an hour? That's good. That's, yeah, a, that that's good. good. That's okay. Yeah, because a lot of uh, grihasas as well, they get up early uh, and then they have a little nap before either going to work or, or starting their you know, day's routine. So Prabhupada also used to do that as well, you know, have a little nap. Even our Guru Maharaj used to do that. He used mm. to get up early, have a little nap, uh, and then, you know, uh, no, get on with the morning routine. 
Anybody else? Because this is this is a hot topic. Because mm. everybody wakes up at some point. Yeah. I, in the and I, I just finished the last okay. bit on the on this section. So if someone does not do bhakti in, in Vishuddha Sattva Gun, um, then it is difficult for them to do bhakti in the Raja or Tamagun, uh, because it is difficult to go up the guns. Because once you get into Raja Gun, it's it's difficult to get out of Raja Gun back to, into Sattva and Vishuddha Sattva. So that that is why it's recommended that you know. Once you try and do all your uh, bhakti uh, uh, before you get into Rajagun, really. What is the timing of the Tamagun? Is it 6 to 3 a.m.? Okay, yes, yeah, yeah, 6 p.m., sorry. And that's what I thought. Yeah, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. to, to 3 a.m. A.m., yeah, yeah. Because usually also, in, 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 even in Ayurveda, you know, you're supposed to eat by 6 p.m., which is sunset. Uh, so you, then your body has time to digest. So if you're sleeping by nine o'clock or something like that, you had three hours also, you know, to digest and then have a good night's sleep as well. So you should not ever sleep on a heavy stomach as well. It, it should have, you know, it should be a light meal at the end or, or you know, eat early. So your body's had time to digest. Then you can have a good sleep. So, Pitambar, uh, more question. <laughs> what if you sleep a little more during sickness? Sickness is always an uh, exceptional case. Yeah. Uh, body has to, you have to look after the body. Exactly. Uh, so if one is sick and can't rise early, you just try to do your best and um, take enough rest. Mm. It's important to have enough rest. That's right, yeah. Because you have you have your health ex also comes first, you know. You can't, um, mm. you know, if, if you're unhealthy, if you feel fall sick, then you know, you you will you'll find it difficult. And it's a good point. Um, sleeping is is a part part. It can heal. It can help heal. Um, okay, Rianch, I wake oh, at yes. seven a.m. Is it Tamagun or Rajagun? Uh, but do you it's, sleep? It's, what time do you sleep? <laughs> What time do you sleep, Rianch? It's <laughs> late. <laughs> I'm late, Prabhuji. <laughs> Midnight, right? Yes, Prabhuji. Yeah, that's probably that, why. That is, that is uh, not good. Uh, <laughs> as, as I said, we, we should sleep by 10 p.m. at the latest. Otherwise, your, your body does not get enough rest. And you're young, yeah. so if you if you do this when you're young, yeah, get into that better. practice. Better, yeah. Yeah. Praji, I will follow today only. <laughs> Good, <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, but what's the time now? It's almost half past ten. <laughs> no. I will, I will leave it. 10 half past 40. Ten. No, yeah, no, yeah. Sorry, uh, yeah. It's half past nine. Yes. I think that's a good policy. Try to try to sleep. Get into your bed by ten o'clock, huh? mm. and don't eat late. Yes, eat early. You know I am eating. That's why I I am watching my video. Yes, yeah, and now you're eating, so, so you can't go to sleep in half an hour. Then you have to have at least two hours mm. before you can sleep. So if you are able to uh, eat a little earlier, um, depending on on Mataji, of course, when she cooks. But if you eat by eight o'clock, your time, then by 10 o'clock, you should go to sleep huh? mm. and try to rise. In your case, I think five is good if you're able to. Oh, 5.30, yeah. 5.30 is good. And slowly you can put that, don't do it suddenly, do it slowly. So it's a gradual thing, okay? Mm. Okay, Prabhuji, thanks, Prabhuji. Sorry, Riyanj? Oh, okay, Mataji, Hare Krishna. Good, Hare Krishna. <laughs> oh, yes, oh Nani Ben? Uh, what I was saying is that, you know, when you do the rounds, sometimes, not sometimes, but after the evening diva, mm. sometimes do the rounds. Yeah. Do my japa, but that is after doing the other finishing the regular japas. 
So mm -hmm. that sometimes falls after six p.m. I don't think that is any harmful. No, no, because you've done your sixteen yeah, early. Yeah. That's fine. Any anything extra is 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 okay. But you know, if if you if you only do eight in the morning and you think, okay, I'll do eight in the evening before I go to sleep, mm -hmm. you're pushing yourself because your your body is tired as well. Uh, you know, mind is not clear as well. You know, you won't be listening properly as well. And you're trying to finish in, you know, just rushing through as well. Mm. That That is what uh, most devotees find. I mean, occasionally you might have to do that because if, if say, you know, it's a big festival day or something and in the morning you have to do a lot of seva, so you can't do your rounds. Mm. So you might have to do that later. Uh, but again, then, then you pray to Krishna that please, you know, help, uh, I'm sorry I couldn't have done them in the morning. Uh, just accept what I'm trying to do to, you know, now. Uh, I'm trying my best. Okay, uh, any more questions about getting up early? Oh, okay, just one more. Let's... If you don't go to bed early, you start feeling hungry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, as I said, you know, you should ideally eat before sunset, which is say six o'clock. And if you do get hungry, it's recommended you, you could have some nuts mm -hmm. and some uh, fruits maybe and some milk, hot milk. Um, those, you know, those are okay to have because, and you know, you could have those and then go to sleep uh, say half an hour after that, because those, it's only grains that need a lot of time for digestion. Chance at five. Yeah, Rianj, your mother chants at, is it 5 a.m.? Yes, no. yes, Mataji. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's Perfect. fine. Perfect. That's good. Very good. Tell her it's, it's good. I wake up at seven. You wake up at seven. Yeah, that's, I and know. My so, mother wake up at five and chant. Good. Chant and rounds. Good. Tell her she, she's doing well. Okay, so the next rule after is so any anyone else? Okay. Is chanting in bed bad? I heard it was lying down. Lying down is not good because uh, one. We fall asleep. Yeah, the focus Tendency won't be, be yeah won't be right. Uh, but in bed is okay as long as you're sitting up. Um, sitting up is fine, and um, perhaps put a blanket over your head. <laughs> We're going to go into chanting in a minute now. Okay. So let let's see if we can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. So the next rule is chanting early in the morning. Sorry, Mataji. Yeah, go on. It says here on your, I'm still talking about the uh, Rajagun and Tamagun. Yeah, yeah. As intense it says, because it is, it's difficult to go up to the Gunas. What does that mean? Okay, so basically, like, like for example, as I said, if you, if you haven't chanted in the morning, and say you, you're chanting after work, uh, say 7 p.m., which is Tamagun now. Yeah. Okay, so to get your, ma your, consciousness out of that tamagun because tamagun basically is you know you, you're tired you know you, you ideally want to go to sleep okay mm. at that the end of the day so get your consciousness away from tamagun and back into sattvagun which is which is what is needed for chanting good rounds mm. that that is what it means it's difficult to go up the gunas like that from tamagun up to rajagun and sattvagun Today something amazing happened today, Mataji. Mm. Yes, I I got up at about just after about six o'clock and then doing the six twenty I got up doing mm. the rounds and by nearly about eight eight o'clock I nearly done fifteen rounds. Fantastic! I Brilliant! I was just amazed. I said I told Kana that you are running with me today, so, <laughs> and I was doing it by normal. But how how it just went on and on and on. Yeah. I don't know. Same thing. Little bit, little bit less running yesterday, but uh, yesterday I did about fourteen. But today I was mm. so amazed. 
Yeah, see, so Krishna is helping because you you making the effort. Mm. So I, I, I will get up just about six fifteen, like I, because I've been never caught up. So six fifteen, which is so by six to ten, mm. finish. So it is still in the Vishudgun, Sattva, and Sattva Gun. Yeah, so, it's still Sattva Gun. Yeah, was, as a, yeah. So as, as I was saying, you know, the Acharya is saying, but if if you've done a majority of your rounds or all of them by seven a.m., yeah, that is ideal, really. Yeah. Some devotees, you know, chant from three till seven in the morning and then have a little nap, things like that. You know, you have to work your own um, routine out, but ideally try and do them by seven. So I just Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, Hare yes. Krishna. Yes. Um, uh, like Nani Ben is saying, you know, in the morning when you chant mm. in the um, Sattva um, Gun, then... Um, what happened is you don't even realize how fast you're chanting. But if mm. you take the same round to chant in the in the afternoon or in the evening, yeah. you have to drag. Yeah. You, you may think that I have done 10, but you have done only two. Yeah, but exactly. like in the morning, when you will see uh, it's amazing how come you finish uh, in, in within two hours. Yeah. 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 And it also this waking up. Once you you set the habit, you don't have an you don't need an alarm. You need an alarm clock. Mm. Yeah, even right. how much tired you are, even you get three four hours sleep, that mm. at, the, at the time that you are used to, yeah. that time you will get out of bed. <laughs> yeah, that is good. Good, thank you. Okay. Um, I just wanted to ask Aruna, um, what do you think? Um, it would be difficult for me. Early morning, you mean? But it's not um, something that you have to put into practice straight away. Yeah. But it's just slowly, uh, yeah. slowly, slowly, and just put it into your thought process. That let me try to rise a little earlier, five minutes earlier. Yeah. You know? um, slowly, 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 slowly. Because yeah. once you have a habit of a lifetime, it is hard to change. I do appreciate that. Yeah. And um, but uh, morning time is a, the best time to do bhakti. Mm. especially the chanting of the holy names yes. so i'll try of course uh, it's that's all it is that's all it is yeah. and then it's up to the lord yeah uh, you know as, as i was saying in the beginning at, at, at the top here that you can do a sadhana chart mm. right so basically you know what you can do is like say say for example you're getting at seven o'clock so you can say okay for the next week i'll try and get up at 6 45 mm. Okay, and, and so that is your, that you only have one item on your sadhana chart, getting up at 6.45. Once you achieve that, then you can add, you know, uh, change that to say 6.30. And maybe say, I'll try and do four runs by seven o'clock. So you, that way you can, um, you can monitor how you're doing and add, add things, but you just make sure that you, it's, it's like a slow and steady progress as well. Taking into account health, yeah, and um, you know your your psychology as well, yeah, and all your other activities, you know, as well, because yeah. some, you know, everyone not does not have the same uh, things that they have to do every day. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so Pitamba's got a good question. Uh, I find chanting um, fine in the morning, early getting into a shower on cold, not so easy. So I chant and eight rounds and then shower. And then just in case you have to go to a loo. Absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, I have the same mood. Uh, I chant, get all the, uh, you know, uh, the business out of the way and then shower. But as long as the chanting is, um, you know, you're not falling asleep while you're chanting. That's the important thing. Mm. If you're falling drowsy and sleepy when you're chanting, then... Krishna is not going to be there because you you not you're not there. Mm. So, so that's why uh, being in bed is not good. Also, lying down is we cannot invite Krishna in our life while we are laying down. So <laughs> we have to we have to sit properly and then he will reciprocate, as we say. Yeah. And uh, this early morning is really really uh, yeah. fantastic if if we put the habit. Yeah. At the beginning it is hard, but uh, once we set the habit. There's nothing can stop us. Even we are sick, we will we'll have to wait. We'll, we it will come with the Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. 
And and you're right. It's like uh, you get hooked onto it. If you don't, if one day for any reason you f- you fall behind schedule, you think, oh, the whole no, day. No, I feel oh. I feel like I have lost something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or upset. All, all day I keep oh. looking for what I have lost today, what I have lost today, and then I realize, oh, my round <laughs> is not completed. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. happen often. It doesn't happen often. It's hard. But it's hard. yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, with number your question, we're going to come to that. Um, okay, as we're going through the presentation. Yeah, that's good. Good okay. questions. I uh, just want to check, Renuka. Uh, any thoughts from your side? Or oh, Gita? They're going to bed. <laughs> well, no, I'm here, Prabhu Hare Krishna. <laughs> Working. <laughs> so, what do you think, Gita? Um, yeah, because I currently, I tend to chant, I have tried to wake up um, three a, around about 3 a.m., but I don't know, maybe because I need to get into practice. Um, no, 3 a.m. is just impractical. Don't even, don't even attempt it. I don't know, yeah. we shouldn't even put that down. Three o'clock is no way, not for householders. For brahmacharis living in the temple, it's fine. Yeah. But uh, are those who have responsibilities and jobs, it's not even practical. So don't even try it. I yeah, because I had, I did try uh, a few times, and I thought um, no. I'm not really. It won't work. It won't work. Something for the sake of it. No, not so, for the sake of it. It's, it's, yeah. It's, but what time do you do? You mind me asking what time do you? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, Prabhu. Um, so I uh, ten, uh, about six thirty. So okay. that may so be late. Uh, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. So what you can do is slowly, like Jenti was saying, try to rise a little earlier. Yeah. Uh, five minutes earlier, 10 minutes earlier, and then slowly, slowly uh, put that on a week by week basis on, a, you know, like getting earlier and earlier. And okay. aim, aim for five, I would say. Five is not an unreasonable time. Okay, uh, yeah. It may take you one year to get f- to five o'clock. Doesn't matter. It may take you two years. Doesn't matter. Take your time. Let your body slowly adjust mm. to getting up earlier. Uh, then probably then it's okay to chant so say if you're going for a walk or something it's okay to chant at the same time yeah as, long as, not, like, on chanting. as long as you are not sightseeing yeah um <laughs> ooh, that's a nice garden oh nice that's car. a horrible, horrible dog <laughs> nice car yeah yeah, yeah. The that, that's the whole whole separate um, mm. um chanting thing, yeah. yeah chanting you know how to chant we could do another seminar again on that so yeah. you're saying either? Um, yeah, so say, um, so as say, um, uh, as you're walking and if someone greets you, good morning. So is it okay? <laughs> <laughs> so you can't just... Um, yeah, that's, the, yeah, that's it, the problem with chanting. <laughs> Sorry, that's the problem with walking and chanting. <laughs> for, for that, I mean, um, someone has mentioned that. What you do is if, if someone comes to talk to you while you're chanting, then you just, you just pray in your mind. Sorry, Krishna, just excuse me for a minute. And then, yeah. then maybe talk to that person and go back. It's like as if you're talking to a person and someone interrupts you, you you'll say to that person you were talking to originally, you know, just excuse me. And then you talk to that second person. It's, it's like that because you have a oh. conversation with Krishna. So you just mentally just say, just excuse me, Krishna, and then do that. But only, if it's, only if it's important. Yeah. yeah. But this is this is the problem. With, uh, this is why it said when you're chanting, you lock yourself away. Yeah. The Goswamis, they lived in Vrindavan when there was no traffic jams and no cars, no people hardly. But they, when they chanted, they used to hide themselves away. Sometimes in caves, sometimes underground. There was Bu Garba Goswami. We were reading about him. He was he used to chant underground. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nobody disturb you. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, that's why, you know, if you get up early and you do your chanting, you know, there's no one there. Even if you go for a walk at that time in the morning, you'll be hardly anyone on the roads to you yeah, know, disturb you. Different. So, you know, everyone's asleep, uh, you know, the phones won't ring, the doorbell won't r- uh, go. So it's that's why it's recommended to do most of your chanting at that time. Yeah. So, so after, uh, sorry, can I talk? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So after doing the prescribed amount of round, like 16, uh, early in the morning, and uh, so when I go to walk, uh, for walk every morning, I do extra rounds. Absolutely. That's fine. fine. Yeah. So 
That's so I, I do I do for people who cannot do it. Actually. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. good. That's yeah. Really, yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. that's yeah. fantastic, yeah. Margie. Just a couple of points here. None events first because it's a nice short one. Five thirty, good starting initially. I would say six, uh, Nani Ben. Um, you don't push yourself too much. Yeah, be consistent and do it. Maybe and this, this is it. This um, you you cannot take the dra drastic uh, approach yeah. because you will get tired. It, get take tired. it gradual, slowly, right. slowly, and then just just put in your mind that I have to chant say uh, four rounds up to six o'clock or six thirty, and then four round uh, another four round up to seven o'clock. So at uh, the beginning, you do your eight round up to seven. And then slowly, yeah. slowly, you add one more, one more, one more like this. And you will find it so easy and it will be like uh, very smoothly. Yeah. Mm. At Bitamba's point. Uh, sorry, Naniban, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think six, aim for six first. Yeah. For at least a month, I would say. Yeah. And then, and then see how you, you do mm. at six. And then slowly, uh, maybe quarter to six, like that. Can we nap in the afternoon? Yes. Yes. That's yes. Acceptable. Yes. It's yes. acceptable. As long as it's not a little good big sleep. <laughs> yeah. You know, like a power nap. Which is good. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And as long as it's not at three thirty. <laughs> <laughs> um, the okay. Pitamba's point, uh, Jane is going to cover. Yeah. Uh, can we chant and listen to lectures at the same time? Hmm. It's a definite no, 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 no. <laughs> definite no, no. Okay, so if, if we just go to chanting now, so chanting again early in the morning, so you should find a sacred place. So basically, it's it's saying that you know uh, when I'm chanting, I'm going to just stay in this place. It could be in front of Tulsi Devi or in in front of your. Um, deities whatever not tv deities <laughs> yeah <laughs> because basically like for example you know when you go sit on the dining table your mind knows this is the place i'm going to eat when you go to the bathroom in the shower your mind knows this is a place i'm going to shower so it, similarly your mind needs to know that at now i'm in this place where i'm going to chant mm. and and you know that that is how we have to train our mind because our, our mind will play so many tricks Mm -hmm. uh, when while we're chanting, so that that is what we mean by a sacred place. It, it could be you know an, anywhere where you where you're going to be chanting every day. Okay, so if we give the first two hours of the day to Krishna, then Krishna will help us throughout the day. Uh, so again, we have to be good to ourselves first before we you know we can uh, help others. So we have to help ourselves first uh, before you know we can really help others. Those that chant properly can read, do deity worship, etc. properly throughout the day. Uh, one can serve better because the chanting has helped purify them. If we, if we prioritize Krishna, then Krishna will prioritize us. But if we're sleeping in his time, which, which is, you know, if we're sleeping till seven o'clock, then what, what do you think he will do? You know, we're ignoring him. So he will ignore us when, he, when we need him. You know, that, that's a general thing, but a uh, general statement. But uh, Krishna, you know, will not really abandon us. But, uh, you know, it, it, it will be difficult to have Krishna's mercy if we, we are ignoring him. Uh, we've been given this human body not to sleep like a bear um, because it, it's, it sends a message that we don't value the holy name. So again, Krishna will not uh, uh, protect us in, um, you know, when, when we need protection. Um, so coming to chanting and doing other things. So what we, when we're chanting, basically we need to focus on listening to the, the holy name. Um, it, some do to say that, you know, I'd like to focus on, say, Krishna's um, lotus feet and things like that. But th then the mind might start playing tricks and things, and, you know, might say, oh, you, you haven't put Tulsi on Krishna's foot. Um, you haven't, uh, you know, done this to Krishna. And then, you know, slowly your mind might go to the, uh, um, his dhoti and think, oh, no, um, maybe I should put the, this yellow dhoti on him today when I'm dressing him. You know, and your mind will take you away from listening to the to the holy name. So, it is recommended that you 
listen to the holy name. If you do want to focus on something while you're chanting, uh, have the holy name printed and read it while you're chanting. So that will help fo help you focus your mind and not uh, let it wander or uh, do anything else. So uh, Pitna, but your question about chanting and listening to lectures, I, again, as Nabi said, definitely no, no, because then you, you, you won't be listening to the holy names. Uh, you're saying some devotees do this, but again, you know, it, it, that's not the ideal scenario because ideally, you know, how are we going to connect to Krishna through his listening to his holy names? That is how we're going to build that relationship. It is not going to be done out of listening to lectures and things like that. Listening to lectures and things has an, that, that will come up later on in the 10 rules. But again, you can't mix the two di different uh, things that we're doing, you know, chanting and listening to lectures. It's two different uh, activities. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. Um, if, if someone wants, they can put uh, Shri Prabhupada chanting. Yes. Uh, and then they, they chant together. In that way, they will know Shapopadi is there. I cannot disrespect him. So right. I have to listen to him. And that he, also, I don't know if it is possible because you are doing so much. Mm. If in the morning you could uh, set this uh, chanting time, uh, my yes. temple here, we do it. Four o'clock, everybody, not everybody, it, it's on. So whoever wants to join whenever they can mm. until eight. So who has started four? By, by six, seven, they're done. Mm. One started six by seven, they are done like this. At eight, they are done. So it Good. keep rolling. So anyone who want to join, they join and they keep chanting. Mm. Yeah, that should help. But yeah. then for for you, I know it's a bit too much now. And somebody else can set it up and then get get people together. So in this way, they know that um, I don't. I have to leave the bed because the time has come. Uh, people will be on and yes. they, they yeah. is motivating. So that will be nice. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And your other question, uh, Pitamba, is Aarti in the morning more important or rounds uh, more powerful and better? Again, there's a time and place for everything. So chanting should really be done. Uh, and it's, it is more important. As I said, it, it, it builds a relationship with Krishna. Deity worship is important. I, again, we'll come to that. Yeah, I, I, that's another another rule that we should really do every day. Okay, because um, some people, you know, they might not have time to do deity worship. So again, I, I've, I've mentioned a quick method that um, that we can do uh, instead of the full morning program. Okay. Any questions or yeah. any? Any? Yeah. Anything comments? on chanting? I think, uh, uh, Raghuji. Yes, I think I tried to learn from my own experience that hearing, while you are chanting, hearing is the best thing. I tried to sort of at times concentrate on the Shyam Sundar's face and his feet, but then it takes your attention away from the chanting. Yeah. And here it says that hearing is the most important cleansing your heart, the anarthas over your heart. So best thing is uh, chanting and hearing what you are saying. So, and then concentrating on that. Mm. Excellent. Good. That's good realization to yeah. have, Nani Ben. Yeah. And your question about uh, walking, because sitting sometimes can be painful. Yeah. Absolutely. The body yeah. um, needs to be comfortable. Needs to be comfortable because if your body is in pain, then the focus is on the body mm. and not on the holy name. Yes. And when are able to make you comfortable? Yeah. 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 yeah you, you can walk around while you're chanting. Yeah. Okay. Walk around the house. Up. Up. Yeah. I can't do anything. If something is on the floor. I let it. I don't I ignore it, but concentrate on the chanting. Mm. And then when it's over, then you think about other things. Yeah, yeah. No, that's I can't I can't sit down just because there's some pain in my legs. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's getting old. Yes, yes, Nani Ben. I, I think uh, when the body needs a, even the rest, if we cannot, we should not force ourselves because if, if we are falling asleep and we keep chanting, then the chanting will not become a, a good chanting. Mm. So it's better to stop take a rest and then come back. Mm. It's not every day it will happen. It will happen once in a while. When we are not well, no. then we can... She's saying say. more, um, if she sits a long time, then... Yes, pain. oh, that, me too, so me too. <laughs> then uh, what we can do is uh, walk around yeah. a little bit, 
Yeah, that's please. fine because you know if you if you're focusing on your pain then you're not focusing on your chanting yeah so. but, yes. but but in the lekamata's uh, point as well if while you're chanting say for for some reason you're falling asleep mm. and you tried everything to stay awake you know walking mm. whatever you know, put water on your face but if you know you still keep on falling asleep then what you should do is leave the chanting have a, rest. Have a little rest and then go back to your chanting yeah. yes Thank you. Anything else? Anybody else? Um, okay, so rule number three. You should offer regular obeisances, as, uh, basically pronounced to the deities and your guru. So Bhagavad Gita 934 and 1866. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, I'll just read, read that. Because that, that uh, verse is actually mentioned in both, uh, mentioned twice. Um, so that's man mana bhava mad bhakto mad yachi mam namaskuru. So namaskuru is mentioned, which is offer obeisances. Mam evasi yukta vam ye atman. Mam evasya si yukta vam atmanam mat parayana. So even Krishna has said namaskuru. So one who offers obeisances to me and worships me will become my devotee. So again, offering obeisances. This this um, verse is mentioned twice in Bhagavad Gita. So it is really important. Uh, you know, that's why Krishna is uh, stressing this twice in the Bhagavad Gita. So Krishna, you know, bows down to that devotee who bows down to him. Um, but, Sixty-five. Eh? Oh, sorry. Okay. So when Mother Yashoda got bewildered um, when she saw the <clears throat> Virat uh, Rup in uh, Krishna's uh, mouth she offered obeisances to Vishnu and Prabhupada says that when one is confused one should offer obeisances to Krishna or Vishnu and and Krishna will protect you or get you out of that confusion uh, and it's also said that um, when we bow down a karma also reduces so many devotees bow down many times in the day so you know you, as soon as you enter the temple room you bow down so, you know, you, uh, as soon as you uh, see a Vaishnava, you know, senior Vaishnava or a guru, you bow down to them. <clears throat> so that is a very good uh, practice that one should do um, because it, it also um, makes you humble as well when you're bowing down. Uh, and then it's, it's recommended for, for men, it should be the full uh, uh, dandavads and for Mataji it's just the half uh, dandavads um, any questions on that so the ladies don't bow down fully no not not fully just half half so, okay so basically you kneel, kneel you're kneeling down and you your head is uh, on the floor as well yeah not not the full uh, your whole, whole body is not fully lying down. Yeah, oh, just, just okay. on your knees and you just bow down. Yeah, correct. Thank you. Six of Swamis used to pay obeisance a lot, especially there was Raghunath Das Goswami. Mm. He's, he had a wow that he would pay obeisance 1,000 times mm. every single day to the Vaishnavas. Mm. So it's... Um, yeah. So it this is 9.34, is that bad with... Uh, chapter nine. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Text uh, uh, yeah, and that verse again comes uh, chapter eighteen sixty five. Almost the same verse. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, so rule number four is following a morning program. So basically, the morning program is um, is the. Um, Samsara Dava prayers, which is Mangalati, uh, Narsingha prayers, Guru Arti, and then Tulsi Arti. So basically, this is what is followed at, at, in Mangalati in all ISKCON temples around the world, uh, which starts at 4.30 in the morning and finishes about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, sorry, uh, Guru Arti would be at 7 o'clock in the morning. At home, we should also have a set morning program. Um, 
if you are if you can't do everything what you can do is in 20 minutes you can just sing all these um bhajans or uh, or songs uh but it's not good enough just to sing them we should also know the meaning behind these songs and also if you if you have time you can offer incense a ghee lamp and a flower to your deities and also tulsi leaves to their lotus feet of krishna which uh, four songs sorry sorry yeah which four songs the uh, the samsara dava narsingha prayers uh, guru aarti and tulsi aarti so we'll um, what we can do i think next time do i have them okay, yeah yeah Oh, I, I want to send you the songbook. <laughs> Sorry, I've forgotten. Mm -hmm. uh, what we will do uh, is we will actually sing those at the next, maybe Sunday. This Sunday we can do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, we can On do Sunday. We can go through these. Yeah, we we'll go through these songs. Thank you. Fine. <laughs> um, the the first one, the Samsara Dava ones, is also prayers to the Guru. Uh, because basically, you you uh, first of all, you know, as soon as you wake up and you know have your bath and everything should offer your basis to your guru so th these prayers are really offering your basis to your guru and krishna okay. and then the shringa there to protect us mm -hmm. and then we do tulsi aarti yeah. and and then um usually in, in the temple one would chant from 5:30 to 7 o'clock and then they have guru uh, uh, puja at uh, so greeting the deities and then guru puja that that is how what the morning program would be in the in the Iskon temple okay. okay and it said that even while while you're traveling you should sing these four uh bhajans or songs in the morning and mentally offer you know incense and ghee lamp and flower to either your deities at home or or just to, you know uh krishna uh, but, you know so you should uh follow our morning program whether you're at home or traveling anywhere you know a uh, benefit of a morning program uh so such a person gets direct service of ser of serving the servants of radha and krishna at the end of his life so imagine how important this morning program is and that is why propad has set this morning program at in, in all iskon temples around the world and he stressed how important it is to attend the morning program again you know grihastas you won't be doing this these at 4:30 you know you you, you have to work out your own timing um when you can do the do these um different uh, artis and thing because you know basically this the mangala arti would be you know in the um uh, temple you'd offer all the items in in the morning so it's it would take you like 20 minutes to do that uh and then also guru uh, puja as well and tulsi aarti would be like 10 minutes so you know you have to work out your own um uh timing uh when you can do them anyway well. the thing which um from the incense point uh, incense ghee lamp or flower if you can't do even those three it's a good practice to do the ghee lamp at least because by offering the ghee lamp so many things get achieved at the same time the lamp is uh, light itself uh, which we are offering to the lord and we're praying to the lord you are full of light we're full of darkness enlighten us this ghee lamp also represents like you were saying before yeah so the five elements the five material elements like earth because the actual the eye is made of of earth or, or metal or whatever and then you you, know, you have uh, oil which is the water and then fire is the actual fire and the uh, smoke would be uh, air. air and then you know offering it to uh, the ether is the ether so you're basically offering all the five elements that krishna has given us back to him so it's a gratitude prayer mm -hmm. of gratitude is anyone apart from indulika mata ji following a, a morning program at the moment pitambar yeah. probably is yeah i think pitambar pitambar okay 
Yeah. Okay. But, but uh, yeah. No, but I think again, over time, uh, you know, you should start introducing these sort of things. So again, you know, you're in your sadhana list. <laughs> again, like, you know, start uh, say maybe do uh, tulsi arti, and then you know things like that. You know, you introduce. Yeah things slowly slowly into your yeah. daily routine if you have a tulsi at home you should yeah the the uh, plant itself not the picture if you have the plant then just offer a ghee lamp just offer a ghee lamp to tulsi mm. take you two minutes and that two minutes is well spent yeah because next thing is to doing tulsi arti so mm -hmm. we can see the benefits of tulsi oh yeah yeah but we'll have to stop so we'll carry on with this um, on s um, Sunday. I think it's a good thing to do. Any final questions? Any comments? Are you going to share this? Yeah, yes. definitely. Okay, thank you. Definitely. I think we can share up to here and yeah. then we can read the rest, mm -hmm. uh, go through the rest next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Very good. Has it been helpful? Yes, Mataji. You clarified quite a few points. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Well, I have to go and cook now, so I have to leave now. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I'm going to go to, go to sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is set, we go to sleep. <laughs> so we can eat at latest by seven. Okay. Good. Yes. Good, Good point. Good point. Good. Okay. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Hare Thank Krishna. you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay. Uh, so we can do the. Indule Kataji? Yeah. Do you want to add anything? When you complete, when you complete oh. all, okay. then uh, overall, I, I will say something. All right. It's very okay. nice. It's yeah. very encouraging. Very nice. Thank you. And I mean, these are just 10 points which we picked from probably a hundred thousand points. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. it depends individually who want to yeah. do what uh, in the morning, puja and all. And mm. uh, it depends on time because we may say that Tulsi Arti take 10 minutes, but then preparing the ghee lamp and then washing and putting away, that also take time. Because yes, right. Nabi Prabhu have got you to do all this, so he doesn't think about this. Right. <laughs> I don't even do it. I what I do is I, after I shower, the tulsi is mm -hmm. in my room, so I I actually do the tulsi arti, just sing it through. Yeah. And yeah. Later in the morning, Jayanti will go and do the actual mm -hmm. arti. Yes. Yeah, so I do I do guru puja and tulsi arti. Yes. <laughs> so I, I, he, he does the uh, mangal arti. <laughs> I do the same after after doing my chanting first, and then yeah. I do uh, yes. I do my. Chanting first. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Get the, thing, the first part. And then the, the day goes like that, you know. After that, uh, I go for a walk. I still chanting, come home, I start cooking, okay. I listen to class, and I offer, and then I have a Bhakwatnam class. It's ongoing, and which is which is a happy. I'm very happy for that because yeah. all the time in my life is wasted. I take it like um, I have been yeah. haven't been doing anything, but now that I'm Perfect. I'm retired, I have the time, right? Perfect. Mm. Perfect, yes. Maji. <laughs> Very good. Good inspiration. Mm. Uh, Runa. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Aruna. I just wanted to ask, where, where can I get a Tulsi plant in the UK? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a little challenging. Um, Some devotees do grow Tulsi at home. and uh, We'll inquire for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, thank you. And winter is uh, always a little challenging. Yeah, so time. maybe you know, uh, in Jan end end of January or something. We'll yeah, end of January, February time. Yeah. Uh, mm. March March time is probably yeah. better. Yeah. But in yes. the meantime, you can have a picture. Ah, yes. Of Tulsi. Have a picture. Yes. Yeah. My 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 sister brought one for me from Mauritius, but it had oh. some like insects eating it. Yeah. So I had to put it in water, and it survived. Then finally. I put it back in the soil and then it died. Yeah. So mm. How very difficult to. She just you know, it uh, her. you know what you have to do. You know what you have to do when you see insects on it. You yeah. just keep a little uh, spray bottle. Um, two three times a day, you spray water all over so the insect cannot stay in the water. You spray it in a way that uh, under the leaf also has got the water. 
So when the water is there, then sex will not come. Yeah, I used to wash it under water, then it was fine. But then after a few days, they back. It was yeah, very yeah. difficult. And you know, the Tulsi Maharani, they don't like to be disturbed, to be moved mm. from one place to another place. Mm. Mm. Okay, yes. Well, thank you. Okay. And um, Tulsi a picture is uh, very auspicious. Yeah. So. yeah. Okay. All right. So we can. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, the key, Jay. Jay. So in the Lekamaji, would you like to?